the reason to have a therapist, well, there's many reasons, but one of the, I think the main reason I have a therapist is because they can keep seeing you on like an ongoing basis and be a, an ally for the entire process of witnessing and having somebody with you in the trauma. Hmm. For the vast majority of trauma, what did the majority of the damage was the fact that you were alone in it. Mm -hmm. So having a therapist going through that with you is the exact opposite. Or you felt that. alone in it. It is the antidote. No, you were alone, even if somebody was in the room. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then maybe you didn't allow yourself to ever allow anyone in after that because suddenly like trust is broken. Exactly. And you might be surrounded by people. It might be really famous. I'm not talking about you, but you might be, you know, I've, I work with, I've worked with various different celebrities and such and being able to like be very close in their worlds. And oftentimes they're very, um, they feel very alienated and they feel very isolated. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a very interesting experience. So they're surrounded, like everybody wants to suck them off and be their friend and, you know, do anything to get inside their container. Um, but they feel deeply alone. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's very interesting. Um, so it's not a people thing. It's a, it's an, it's like an allowing thing. It's an intimacy thing. Yeah. Um, but what I, I, what I would add to that, though, is that we need to get real with the fact that we live in America, and in America, um, therapy is a luxury. Mm -hmm. So... I don't want to put my foot down and say you have to get a therapist for this kind of stuff. In fact, I, I created the completion process specifically for this reason. I wanted to create a process which people could use regardless of whether they could afford therapy or not. Mm. So the therapist was a bonus. Mm. Can you take me through the completion process? It would take us about an hour and a half, two hours. What's like the bullet points? Is there like a stage one, stage two, stage three yeah, type thing? Mm -hmm. Yep. So the first part of completion process is you're working actively with the trigger. It's, it's the exact opposite approach that the majority of the um, psychology field essentially uses with trauma and triggers. Mm. Instead of trying to get rid of a trigger, we're amplifying the trigger so as to use it as a doorway to whatever is unresolved. So let's say that you come with an active trigger, you feel those intense feelings. The first step of the process is like an emotional vipassana practice mm. where you're turning your attention very strongly onto that somatic experience as it occurs in your body. Mm. And you're using that. I mean, they're, they're sort of question prompts. You're using that then to go back in time to the memory that is linked to that trauma in the present. Once you're back in the memory, you're re-experiencing. And the mem memory naturally arises as a product of the listening yes. to that visceral yeah. felt and bodied yes. experience. You it's not, it's not a forcing. It's not no, a no, doing. No, no. It's just a kind of leaning back and yeah. observing and just seeing what comes through. Yeah, I mean, some, some people don't get intense visuals and things like that, but yeah. the vast majority of people, when they spend enough time kind of falling back into that somatic sensation, start to get images. Mm -hmm. So once you've got the images, you're re-experiencing the entire thing. Once you have, I mean, fully experienced it, your goal is to get to a, a place where your body accepts that it happens. Accept does not mean approve, though. Accept means, okay, I accept that in this moment I feel desperately alone. I accept that there is nobody here to help me in this moment. I accept, like whatever needs to be accepted that's not being accepted. Yeah. Um, so the tissues of the body relax around the experience. That means you're ready to go to this next phase, which is where we start to um, bring like an active resolution to whatever it was that we experienced. So instead of just almost like passive witnessing and experiencing, we're now altering the memory. It's almost like it's like the first stage would be acceptance in a way to allow digestion and integration. Yes. So you're, you're blocking yep. all the cell membranes go, nope, yep. not yes. going to be in there. Yes. And so it just sits outside. And so this is developing the resources within yourself and the safety within yourself, which was probably other factors to be able to get to that point, <laughs> reducing the static. And then suddenly you're like, all right, I'll try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you open up and they're like, okay, now yeah. process, process next. And that next aspect is the resolution. So you bring whatever needs um, to that memory would have improved the situation. So let's say that you're in a memory where you need a defense. You bring in the defense. So this is turned from a, a memory experience to an active visualization experience. Mm. After you go through the resolution within the memory, um, you then move to a safe space. So we're creating distances between what happened and what is. Because when people are stuck in the past, right, they need to actually help their mind to accelerate things forward to a point where they realize that was then, this is now. So bringing them into this safe space, you then create like a resourcing experience of almost amplifying the needs that showed up within that memory, but within the context of the safe space. Mm. This can progress all the way towards somebody like fully integrating with whatever aspect was stuck in the past and the trauma or that aspect chooses to stay in a safe space. 
either way, um, you're, you've changed your entire point of attraction. It doesn't matter whether that aspect of you decides to stay in the safe space and continue to resource from whatever improvement you're creating or come back fully into the body in the here and now. Mm. It's very unlikely that a, a, a person, like an aspect that was stuck in the past, will want to do that because most people who are starting this trauma work um, the way that they've created their adult life is not really conducive to what most parts of themselves would consider safe or would want to step into. Mm. That comes later when somebody puts their life together in a good way. Mm. 